so what we have here is we have x minus 8 divided by 2x plus 2 plus x divided by 2x plus 2 equals 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1. And again, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to want to do here um, in this example is, is find our LCM, exactly. So we go and take a look at our LCM. All right, and we say, all right, we know that we have x plus 1. And we could say, well, what about 2x plus 2? But then we want to always look at and say, all right, is there anything else that we can factor? Right? We don't need to do 2x plus 2 twice. But we look at this and say, can we factor out x plus 1? No. But can we factor 2x plus 2? Can we factor this any further? Yeah, we can factor out a 2, right? So therefore, when we factor out a 2, we notice that x plus 1 is also in there. So therefore, the 2x plus 2, that's redundant. You're really doing x plus 1 twice. So it's not wrong. Huh? Yeah, it's, just, it's not wrong, but it's redundant. So let's just use x plus 1 and 2. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply every single term by our LCM. All right. So Wendy, when you take a look at this, what you'll do is you'll do 2 times x plus 1 times 2 times x plus 1 times 2 times x plus 1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we spoke about 2 times x plus 1 is the exact, thing, exact same as 2x plus 2. So therefore, these are going to divide to 1. These will to divide to 1. And then here, I'm just going to be left with a 2. So now I have x minus 8 plus x equals 2x minus 4 times 2. I can combine my terms here to get 2x minus 8, apply distributive property here to get 4x minus 8. Oh. Thank you. And now to solve the problem, let's just get our x's on the same side. So subtract 2x, add 6. So therefore, I now have negative 2 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2, negative 1 equals x. Okay.